That game was too close. Defense didn't even show up. Most of that game. I don't understand how the fans not boo. And you know what? I will be honest with you guys. I, I, I really will. The time management was terrible. Near the end of the game, my god, those, that time management did not know what to do. I feel like the refs, the time management guy was drunk. I bet they were having a Bud Light. Well, this game, scary, but finally got a W. Finally, my god. Last time we got one was against the Knicks. But anyway, look what the Portland Trailblazers did. They led in the third quarter. And they freaking won. <sighs> anyway, let's look at the stats of players. Who? I can't say his name. Their center. I'll just say. I can't speak names, guys. Their center was actually pretty good. 29 points, even though he got fouled out. My God. Fortner was good. I just can't say the center's name, sadly. Rose was decent. Arton was decent. I'll give the Magic some credit. They did their part to uh, do good. Oh, Alfaro Camino. Ever since the Wolves game, Myers Leonard has had more points than you. Get him out of here. Nurk, once again. Another double-double. CJ, he had a struggling game, but the first three he made in the fourth quarter paid off. And Damian Lillard made history today, ladies and gentlemen. Not just being a career high in three points, but as a franchise record of the most three points that any Portland Trailblazer has ever made. And he shot ten threes today. Damian Lillard... Was outstanding today. Nick Stauskas was actually outstanding today too. Zach, I thought he did decent. He got those rebounds. And so did Turner. As the Blazers are one of the best rebounding teams right now in the NBA. But. Even though. The Blazers. Won this game. And the way they won it. You know, the way the Blazers have been playing lately, even though this was a win, but it was a pathetic win against a Magic team that's supposed to be terrible. But from what I've seen, even like the Magic somehow almost being Golden State and Golden State, or the Kings almost being Golden State at Golden State, but the Blazers couldn't even come close to being the Warriors at the Warriors. Something like, like that. And then we lose to the Clippers. Even though the Blazers won this game, the way they won it was just pathetic. The bench is not showing up. I mean, Stauskas did show up. They did do a lot of rebounds, but not a lot of people can score. Seth Curry couldn't score that much. Uh, let's look. Yeah, Seth couldn't score that much. Myers, too soft as usual. Collins, he did decent. Turner did decent on the rebounds and assists, but not for points. But, and he was 0 for 4 in those last free throw attempts that the Magic could have taken a lead. But in all seriousness, guys, after watching that game, and I was out of the game because, you know, I, I need to take a break from going to Blazer games, okay? I, I, I like to like to live, live my life outside of going to the game. I really do do that. But in all seriousness, right? And I haven't seen these words since I was 11 years old. And I, I hope they prove me wrong. But I've not said these words since I was 11 years old. And I never thought I would say these words again. 
the Portland Trailblazers are going to miss the playoffs. They are going to miss the playoffs. And like I said, I've never said I haven't seen these words since I was 11 years old. For the first time in seven years, the Portland I'm saying those words that the Portland Trailblazers might not make the playoffs. Everything about this Portland Trailblazers team, they may prove me wrong, and they may prove everybody wrong. They might make the playoffs, but I'm being serious. The way they've been playing lately, that it's just been dang awful. They got the Nuggets, the Nuggets on Friday, and I'm going to be personally honest with you. I don't think we're going to win that one unless Lillard played like he did today. Nurks having has another 33 points against his former team, and CJ out goes God mode. And the bench has got to step up on that game, too. Because the Nuggets are no joke this year. Personally, and before I get to my point about the Blazers, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, with you guys. The more I've been watching the Nuggets, I think they're going to make the... So far, they look like they're going to make the Western Conference Finals. So far. But now back to the point. Portland Trailblazers are just struggling. They're just been struggling. And even though they didn't got this win, it was a pathetic win. The reason why it was pathetic, because it was against a pathetic team that you earlier did destroy. You destroyed them, but in this time you can't. You 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 barely you won by three. And I look at this team and the way they've been playing. Lillard, I expect him to be in the All Star. CJ, he's having okay. He's having a decent year. Nurk's having a double double year, and I don't want to lose him, but. I just got no faith in Portland. I just don't. Not anymore. But like I said, these words are the first time I have ever said it since seven years ago when I was 11. And I've been a Blazer fan for 18 long years. I've been going to games since I was six months old. They'll miss the playoffs. And if they do make it, I remember in the beginning of the year I said the Portland Trailblazers to be will not be the same. And so far, I'm being right about that, or better. And I'm so far being right about that. I said in the beginning of the year at five seed. At this point, I can't believe I'm going to say probably a seventh or eighth seed. And I mean, I'm looking at the Blazers right now at this point in the NBA. They're not like the teams like the Raptors, the Bucks. Warriors, the Thunder, the Nuggets, the Rockets are struggling, and I expect the Rockets to soon bounce back. I really do. They're not like also the 76ers, they're not like them. And at this point, and Boston, even though they're having struggles, but struggles, and I know Portland beat them, but I don't think they they're even close to being like the Boston Celtics unless they can beat them twice, which I hardly doubt that's going to happen. But still, the more I'm watching Portland this year, I, they start so hot. Then all of a sudden, something happens. Something Thanos-like, snapping the fingers. And then the team just somewhat is becoming a disappointment so far. I mean, you just hopefully they win Friday. You'll see my reaction on Friday, obviously. But the more I'm watching the Blazers, they if they make the playoffs, they're going to be an 8th or 7th seed. I can't trust many players on the bench. I don't trust Alfred Burkamino. If they can get a forward, a small a forward at any type, power forward or small forward, they get a, like a Draymond Green, a Gordon Hayward, Harris Jr., I'll be fine with those. I'll be fine whenever trade. D d like I said, don't trade for Mellow. Just d no, 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 don't don't trade. Or 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 Porter Jr. That's another one, and he's a decent one. I don't even know that's for Tim Hardaway Jr. 
The team is just like I've said many times before, and everybody knows it. It's just a forward away to finish in the race. Even like I said, this team makes the playoffs. They're going to get swept in the first round. I can't have faith in Portland. If I, if I had to say what team I would personally have a best shot at beating in the playoffs, it's obviously the Grizzlies are one. Because I'm, you gotta look at the playoff picture of the teams that are right now in the playoff picture. Um, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Okay, so I got the picture, and right now the Blazers are at the five seed, which I did begin in the beginning of the year. I said they might end up being there. And at this point, they look like they would play Oklahoma City. Personally, the teams I think they could pl that they could win if these teams make the playoffs. If they make the playoffs, Portland could play the Jazz. The Rockets, the Kings, the Spurs, Dallas. I'm not going to say Los Angeles Lakers, even though that's where I predicted that they could, that they might play. I'm, I'm, I'm backing down on that. Even if they did, does happen, I, I don't think they'll have a chance against the Lakers because LeBron James has never lost in the first round. The Memphis Grizzlies and maybe the Thunder. But still, I just... I just don't have faith in Portland, guys. <laughs> what am I gonna say? What am I? What do you want me to say? I mean, the Blazers every year have always been like this. They always are like this. Making those fans being so excited. Oh my gosh, looking so hot over the last like, what? Five years, two first round wins, second round exits, and yet those second round exits have been against teams now with better experience. The first one was against the Spurs, and I expected us to lose that one because the Spurs had the more experienced players at the time. The Warriors, I was hoping, I was hoping that we get a got a better shot, and I personally think we could have won that series, but. We were close, even though 4 1 doesn't show it. The scoring was close, and they blew it. And now, the first round losses. We gotta start with the Memphis Grizzlies one with the, the last year of the Marcus Aldridge, 4 1, okay? And then you gotta look at the last two ones sweep against the Warriors, sweep against the Pelicans. I mean,. I know it's early, but I just at this point don't have faith with the Blazers. I just don't. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop making these reaction videos and what my thoughts were in the game or what my thoughts are the Blazers. But for the first, I think this is the first time you guys are witnessing a Trailblazer fan in me saying that. And like I said, I haven't said those words since I was 11 years old. I haven't said that since I was 11 years old. And even if this team makes the playoffs, they're going to be a 7th or 8th seed. I can't see them staying the same from last year or get better. I just can't. While today was a good day to be a Blazer, there's a lot of concern. There's, there's so many problems. The bench is now cold. That is one. Alfaro Camino not showing up. As always. God. I don't know why we even have him. I think it's funny that some people say he's our best defender, but yet the guy can't defend like guys like LeBron, Kevin Durant, Greek Freak, Kawhi Leonard. He can't. He, personally, I think he's an overrated player, uh, and I really hope he, we would get, get rid of him soon. I hope that does happen. <laughs> well... This was my thoughts of the Blazers today and how far the season has gone. Uh, what do I think they'll be? Personally, I expect us to lose to the Nuggets. I'm being serious with you guys. Unless, like, Millsap's hurt or Nikola Jokic uh, is not playing. Nurk will have to play an outstanding game again against his former team. And I do expect him to play outstanding. Lillard... I think he'll be like, I don't know, I'm going to say like something like 32 points. CJ, I think we'll have like 25 points. Nurk, 
Uh, I, I, I expect Nurse to have like 34 points and probably like to say 19 rebounds, but still. The bench right now is my concern right now for the Portland Trailblazers. Even though Stout Skits played well today, Turner did well in the rebounds, and so did Zach, but still. The bench, there's some parts on the bench right now. Seth Curry is not what he was expecting to be. Personally, I thought he would be better. I thought he would be better for Portland, but so far he's not been what I was thinking of. But, and then you also got, you also got Al Farouk Aminu. That's another problem right there, and you got to find out who's your other forward because Harkless did not play as much because the guy can be decent, but when healthy. The fact that a problem is with Harkless, his health has been the issue for the last now four years of this team. Like I said, he's, de he's a decent forward, but can't stay healthy. And that's why I think they got to go for Oliver Park Jr. M maybe a Draymond Green and you can put a Minu over Harkless or Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, maybe Gordon Hayward. But not not Melo. But well, these were my thoughts so far this season and for this game. And still, and Kerry Scott's got his fourth hundred win. God, I wish we still didn't have him. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked this reaction of what were my thoughts on this game, how far I think the season has gone. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, share this with your friends, subscribe to me for more videos like this one. This is TGT the Tank Mode. Signing off.